Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to download, install, and use the Heroic Games Launcher for Ubuntu and other Debian ver uh, variations. So, let's get into it. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why would I want to use a different launcher for Epic Games on Linux, for example? Well, as is displayed in these images here, no need to get access to the store, no need for any of that, it's just all right here as is ready and waiting. And I can confirm, they work very, very well. So, how do we install it? Well, there are two ways. One, you come to the Heroic Games Launcher by just searching for Heroic Games Launcher. So we'll just do Heroic Games Launcher. And then we've got one choice, we've got the website or this. So in this case, we're going to be using this. And we're going to come down to the bottom where it says, hey, look, this is what it's built with. This is the versions and all, all, all that jazz. And what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the Flatpak installation because this is the version that I used and I've had no issues with it. So I want to recommend that to yourself as well. So you click it. You click install, to which you'll get a uh, flat pack uh, reference. As we can see here, that's already says one because I've already installed it, but it's the same way you'd install any other flat pack. And you will get something that looks like this on your desktop. So, first thing we need to do is we need to open it and we need to log in. Now, in this case, uh, you can log in with the Epic Games login or the Epic alternative method. I'm going to use the alternative method, so we'll, I will return once we've done that because that requires logging in and revealing that, so please bear with me. Now that we have logged in and we have this pop-up, all we need to do is come over to the left-hand side of the screen here and have a look at our library. Now this will show every single game that you have installed and options that are available for customization, so in my case most of these games that I got for free, this shapes being one of them. Roller Toaster Tycoon 3. Roller Toaster, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Wonderful game, cannot recommend it even cannot recommend it hard enough. Got that for free. Super hot, got that for free. Track Mania, got that for free. So these are all available here, ready and waiting to go. It's just all you've got to do is select download. So in this case, we'll do absolute drift. We'll select uh not import game, we'll select install. Now these are the install options here. This is the install path it'll go to, the prefix it'll use, as well as the wine version. So in this case, we could give it wine, pro, uh, the proton, uh, proton 6.3 and 7.0, as well as experimental. But in this case, I just want to use the version it's going to give me. It'll then download and install, as we can see. Absolute Drift is already is now installed. And we could just launch it now. There are also there is also more functionality in the Heroic browser, such as all of the versions of Wine GE and Proton GE that you can then download and use as as need be. You can also manage your account, which is this. You can add GOG if you have that. Uh, the settings you just you change your language is the theme. In this case, I'm using Midnight Mirage. The install path the uh, the custom paths uh, for Wine and Proton if you've got a different path. As well as any help instructions. Now we c I'm going to enable Discord Rich Presence because I don't already have that open. Which I should do. Realistically. And uh, we will do Exit to System Try as well. Because I should I haven't set that up yet. So we should prob I should probably get that set up. But these are the options here. We can have Game Defaults which is this is what the game is default to uh, for standard. So in this case, it, Wine 7.2-2. Uh, we can get this. To sh we can actually show this for FPS as well as a Fidelity FX Super Resolution, as well as dedicated graphics card, game mode, all of this just general granular information that you have available, such as the ES overlay, if you decided to use that, uh, or just to have a quick look at the log shows log here 
game list updated. I've got 116 games and DLC. That's fine. Absolute Drift is installed. That's also good. So, there is a lot of potential as well. As we can see here, there's just the downloads. Uh, it's 105 megabytes. It's not too much space at all, but it's downloaded and ready to go. Accessibility here is functional. Leaves it could have some more functionality to it, but then again, it also works as well. So it's just a very lightweight bit of software that works brilliantly. And I would like to thank you all very much for watching the video. As we can see here, the Escapist 2. We'll just sit and let it download. As we can see here, it's going to start in a moment. And then it should just fly through. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. And goodbye.